Hey everyone, before the year ends, I just wanted to put out a glitter New Year's Eve gold glam tutorial. And yeah, so if you want to keep watching, then let's just get on started. To get started, I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. And now we're just going to go into the Tarte Golden Days and Sultry Nights palette. Using that white shade, I'm going to use a very dense brush and set my primer. I actually know that there are names on these, but I actually lost that paper, so using that brown shade there, I'm using a blending brush and basically just going over my crease and using it as a transition color. And now I'm going to use that coppery browns, browns, coppery bronze brown there. I'm using another, like a tiny pencil brush. No, actually, it's kind of like a smudge brush. I don't know. It's it's like really dense, but it's not like a blending brush. Well, all I'm doing is just darkening my outer corners so that it looks a little bit smoky. And then I'm gonna use that glittery gold color there, and using my fingers or my ring finger, I'm literally just patting it all over my eyelids so that it's kind of like the base for the gold glitter that I'm going to use later. Now going back to that dark brown, I'm just going to blend that all over the crease and just darkening the outer corners again because I felt like we lost some of that pigment earlier. Now all I'm doing is just using that transition color and blending that all over so that it looks seamless and blended, you know? Now it's time for the glitter, so I'm just going to use normal eyelash glue and basically just put the glue all over my lids. Then using the wet, the wet and wild color icon glitter thingy in brass. I'm using a um, synthetic, like a tiny synthetic brush and I'm just dipping it into the glitter and then patting it all over to my eyelids. The only downside about this glitter is that there's a lot of fallout, so if you already did your foundation like I did, it's going to be a little bit harder to basically dust off later, but it shouldn't be like too big of a problem. After you've got the pigmentation that you want, I'm just using a powder brush and dusting and trying to dust off all the glitter because you don't want to be all goldy and glittery, you know? And then I am basically going over that dark brown again all, all over all over my outer corners and just darkening it out and smoking it all out. And then now I'm using a flat shader brush with that dark brown and just blending that onto my bottom lash line. Only with that dark brown though. So I did my eyeliner off camera and now I'm just going to line my bottom lash line with a dark brown eyeliner pencil. Basically just on the outer 3 4th corners of it, not the whole bottom lash line. Now it's time for mascara and I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Now it's time to go back to the face and I'm going to be bronzing with the e.l.f. bronzing palette and basically just bronze out my cheekbones, my forehead, and my jawline, you know, just trying to look warm. And then for contouring, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. Sorry if I butchered that. And basically just contouring my cheekbones and my nose. Just like a teeny tiny bit. Now it's time for highlight and I'm going to use the ColourPop Wisp Highlight. And I felt like it wasn't... I don't know. I, I just wanted a little bit of the champagne color. So I'm going to go over that with the... Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam and I'm going to use Crushed Pearl and basically just highlight on my cheekbones, my nose, the tip of my nose, um, a little on the nose bridge, and the Cupid's bow. Now for lipsticks, I'm going to be mixing the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Speed Dial and Times Square. 
and I wanted to mix those two because Spital alone on me was too dark and I kind of just wanted a lighter like kind of peachy color so yeah it's a really nice combination it's just kind of trying and I totally forgot to do my inner corner so I'm going back into the ABH Gleam palette and I'm using crushed pearl to highlight my inner corners and that's basically it with the look I hope you guys enjoyed this and um yeah thank you so much for always subscribing and just being nice to me so happy new years i hope you guys have a safe one and i'll see you guys all next year bye